the channel one of the truly most defining moments in my wrestling history as today we're taking a look at Mankind Defining Moments Ringside Collectibles Exclusive. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite Defining Moments Ringside Collectibles exclusive, and today we've got Mankind, but for all your Ringside Collectible exclusives, make sure you hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%, gotta get a deal out there, and these Defining Moments are back with a vengeance in 2023, as we do have a nice four-pack that comes in a four-pack box here. But, if you want to, you can go to ringside, and you can e order each figure by itself, if that more suits you. You don't want them all or whatever. But, like I said before, I love this box on this. You gotta have the box. You got the four pictures right there looking good. There's the four on the side. Same thing on the other side as well. Got all their names up here. Just a very cool box to collect. I like what Mattel is doing here. Very cool. Off to the side. See you later. But then you do get the packaging here. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. But the first thing you notice when you get these out of that big shipper box is how thin and small the packaging is on these. I get it in this day and age. You know, they're trying to save packaging and all that. But got to compare it to the other defining moments here. Now, that's the Hulkster from the first series. And they're the second incarnation, I guess we'll call it, of defining moments. And Bret Hart from the first. So you can kind of see uh, if you stair step it down, bam, like that. So the packaging gets smaller, smaller each time. I guess it makes sense. The one thing I do miss on the other ones is the uh, open window box on the back. Really enjoyed the window box. You do not get that on the new ones here for those keeping track at home. So uh, very interesting to note the differences for longtime collectors between the defining moments. And I'm very happy Defining Moments is back. I think it is a really cool thing. Uh, it's just one of the great early things that Mattel did, I would say, in the Elite line to really get their name out there and to get figures feeling extra special. Because De Defining Moment is a special moment in time, be it wherever. And I talked about Defining Moments. And one of the Defining Moments of my life, when I graduated college, I was so happy to be done with school. Man, oh man, that was a great day. I said, ah, no more school. Only the working man for me going forward and a lot of people say oh take don't take school for granted you're gonna miss it nah I never missed school I didn't miss having to go to school study and all this and you had to pay for your education and then on top of it you didn't get paid back it was like going to work and not getting paid is what it felt like to me so I was very happy when I graduated school and I would say that would be a defining moment right there so there you go but speaking of defining moments and make sure you put your defining moment in the comments down below uh this is quite the defining moment and gun to my head i would say this is one of the biggest defining moments in my wrestling fandom of my entire life of course i've been watching wrestling uh, gosh, since like I was, I don't know, six or seven years old, something like that, but, and never stopped. A lot of people take breaks. I've never taken breaks. And I would say out of all the wrestling I've seen in my life, truly, this is one of the defining moments. I would say the I quit Ric Flair, Terry Funk match. I was so pumped for that. That was a huge defining moment. Obviously Hogan versus Warrior, a massive defining moment, probably the biggest defining moment for me in my history of fandom. But definitely top five would be Mankind Hell in the Cell. Of course, I was in high school at the time this was going on. All my buddies would come over. We'd watch the pay-per-views at my house. And I remember all of us just jumping out of our uh, chairs, bed, wherever we were in my room. Just could not believe what we were seeing. It just didn't make sense at the time. And a lot of us are desensitized over the years to things like this. Heck, we've seen a lot of Hell in the Cell fall since then. But everybody remembers the first one. Everyone remembers Mankind getting after it in that Hell in the Cell. And we are dangerously close. We're just a couple of weeks away as of filming for this. This being the 25th anniversary of that. Can you believe it was 25 years ago? Mankind came off the cell. Just absolutely insanity it was that long ago. But truly a defining moment. One that people still talk about to this day. People that don't watch wrestling have seen this clip along the way. So no doubt this is a defining moment. A tippy top defining moment. I would say out of all four packs here, this is the number one defining moment of the bunch. Uh, it's arguable of course, but let me know your thoughts. But there it is, the packaging there. Got the big window box. Got an extra hit for Mick Foley. Always love to see that. 
and then you got extra hands in there as well. You got that ringside collectible sticker right there in the front, defining moments packaging. It definitely looks like the old packaging, but it definitely is a lot smaller. Mankind on the side looking only like a mankind could look. Same thing over here. And then on the back, we get the old big blurb there looking good. And I talked about this being the 25th anniversary. That's why I thought for sure Hell in the Cell Ultimate Editions would have been uh, the thing they would have done as the Mattel Creations crowdfunder this year. I thought it just wrote itself. Obviously not in the cards. I am hopeful we get the Terry Funk from this. Oh, Terry Funk, an unforgotten champion. Uh, nobody forgets Terry Funk, but of course, get to get him with the John Deere hat and the removable shoes. We need it. We need it, hopefully one day. But let's see what it says back here about Mankind. Perhaps no match in WWE history is more fabled than Mankind vs. Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell in 1998's King of the Ring. Rather than enter the cell, Mankind scaled to the top and waited for his dark rival. The dead man met his sadistic opponent on the structure's roof, and in a manner of moments threw him off from the top, crashing into the announcer's table below. As God is my witness, he is broken in half, announcer Jim Ross shouted in panic and disbelief. If that, if that wasn't enough, Mankind returned to the scale returned to the cell, scaled back to the top, and was slammed through the roof, crashing hard down in the ring. It took a tombstone into a pile of thumbstacks, thumbtacks, she's easy for me to read today, to finally end the match and cement Miss Foley's baby boy as the hardcore icon. And he was already that icon for me, uh, following his Japan stuff before. But man, oh man, talk about next level match. Uh, doesn't get more defining of a moment than that, like I said earlier. And can I get this backing out? There we go. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. We do get the backing on these, which are very cool. Almost like a little stand. You get a little autograph action. You get a little Mick Foley. Have a nice day there. Very cool. Like that a whole lot. See you later. Goodbye. Now we're down to the old plastic prison. This feels like something we've had many times before, but feels different at the same time. Get the old scissors out. He is locked in. Now we've had a lot of versions of Mankind in kind of his uh, worker shirt, I guess, work shirt, tie, things like that. We've had many over the years. And uh, this is another one here. We'll do some comparisons later on in this video to show just how many different ones we have of these. And uh, as we're filming this, I think the next uh, Showdown 2-pack is going to be a Rock Mankind 2-pack. See you later. Where Mankind is going to be in a similar outfit as this once again. But let's dive in here. We do got an open hand and a gripping hand here. No fists in this one. You need a fist in the cell. But we do got the same opposite hands here. So you can have two open jazz hands if you really wanted to. Or you can have two gripping hands. Choose your own hand adventure, as we always do say here on the channel. Now we're going to get down to business here. We're going to get down to old Mankind. we got the extra head here for Mankind as well. Very interesting looks here. Of course, let's look at the head that's already on this figure right off the bat. And man, oh man, is this next level. This is definitely brand new. you got the big bushy Mick Foley hair. you got the big goatee going on. And then you got to, I want to say it's blood, but he's got a very red lip. I don't know if it's supposed to be blood, but it should be blood, as we do remember that. And then, of course, he's missing the two front teeth. Got the tongue sticking out. Uh, that goofy kind of smile on his face. But then you do get that tooth. They sculpted in the tooth and the beard coming out of the nose, as we do remember very famously from that match. Uh, Mankind, Mick Foley, his tooth went up and out through his nose. You get to react to all of that right here. So very, very cool. I think you have to use this head sculpt, really, at the end of the day. It's such an iconic look. Definitely very, very cool there. Be interesting to see. I was trying to pull back. It does look like he is missing the part of his ear there. I was wondering if they would have that in there, and it does seem to be missing there. So I do like what I see with that as well. But definitely all day long, it is Mankind's hair. Now you get the other head here, and this makes sense. You want to have him uh, before things went south for him. You got him as he came to the ring here. I wonder if this mask... Ah, oh, the mask is removable, just like we've seen in the past. So you can remove this mask for Mankind if you want. And then you do just get a normal kind of head, but a big open mouth on old Mankind here. You get the hair down on both sides. But a very cool option, once again, if you want the hair, the uh, mask on, mask off. Uh, really almost like there's three head sculpts with this one in a lot of ways here. Uh, very cool to have this mask. And it just plugs kind of back in. you got to work it around the hair. But goes right back in there. Love that. Of course, we've had Mankinds in the past with removable hair. Glad they didn't do that gimmick again. A lot of people lost that hair, as we do know. But a very good head sculpt on that one. I'm definitely here for that. 
Now we get old mankind here. We talked about the head. Let's look at the body. This one does feel a little bit like a basic in some ways because there is no ab crunch on this one. It's got the kind of basic shirt that we've seen with Mick Foley. It's the torn and tattered shirt. He's got the disheveled tie off to the side, all in black. Got the pocket sculpted in. Definitely looks like a shirt he would wear. But the big thing about this shirt that we've never seen before is all the thumbtacks in the back. That is a very cool thing. That's where the back of the packaging, the back open window on the old versions of Defining Moments would be so great for this new set because you'd be able to look through the packaging and you'd be able to see these through the back. So this is one of those cases where we really do miss the old packaging on the Defining Moments. But definitely looks very cool. I love how you can feel all the thumbtacks uh, sculpted out of there. Just a very cool way to go. Of course, uh, he does have his brown pants on. We know Mankind in his brown pants. He's wore black from time to time. Uh, but brown is probably what most people think of when they think of him. And then you got the black boots going on. Articulation, the arm's going to go all the way around on this one. You get the bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. You know I'm here for that all day long. A little interesting... I don't know. It, it does break up the sculpt a little bit strange on this McFoley figure with these kind of sleeves here. It's like he's got a massive bicep, nothing, and then a forearm. So I think best bet is to probably fold the arms in at all time to make it look a little bit better because articulation and, and some of that looks just a little bit strange to my eye. Hands back and forth, side to side. You do get a waist articulation, not a ton of waist there. Of course, no ab crunch on this one. A little bit of splits action. Of course, he was not a gymnast, never claimed to be. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Of course, got the pins in the knees. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. So we do get all that articulation there. But very interesting figure. Like I said, no doubt a defining moment for me in my wrestling history fandom. There's no doubt about it. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. What do you know? He fits on a stand. It was almost like it was meant to be. Almost like it was meant to be. Looking good, though. I'm here for this all day long. And I did say I'd bring out some other Mankind figures. So let's, let's start it. I think some of these are basic. Some of these are regular. This looks to be this same head here. Similar but different is what we'll call this one here. We're getting the most out of your molds. That's the way they do it. But we do got a brown pant one here, a little basic action. And then we do got a lot of them in black pants, of course. We get this one here. We get the same one here again, but this one has a different tie, of course. And then you got another Mankind. Is this the same one, I think, as this one? Just different color tie, different color pants. Man, got to get the most out of those molds. That's what you got to do. So we got another very similar one. Oh my gosh, very tight knees on this one. We're going to stand up straight here. Different shoes on him as well. So we got a little bit of different colors of the rainbow here. Looks like a group of guys that uh, were getting ready to go to work and just didn't really want to. Came off a bender or something. That's kind of how it looks here. But uh, definitely some cool Mankind figures throughout the years. We've had this look before, as you can see, but never with this cool new head, never with the thumbtacks in the back, uh, never with this articulation, I guess, either. So there is a lot of differences here. This head is a lot of reuse, but I like it. It's a good throw in with this one if you want Mankind in wrestling uh, gear, wrestling face is wrestling face on whatever you want to call it before the tragedy we'll call it uh you can do that as well so a very cool pack here no doubt about it one of my absolute favorites and possibly my favorite of this four pack here i'd have to sit and think about it a little bit but truly a defining moment truly a cool figure gotta have it in my collection probably yours too but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this mankind figure easy pick up easy pass let me know your thoughts and of course is this truly a defining moment could anybody argue this wasn't a defining moment it is so well remembered all these years later like i said we're at the 25th anniversary i don't think you can argue that it is a defining moment but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of course you made it this far don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some and even more content for you on the patreon channel your best way to support this very youtube channel you can also support the channel over wrestlingtees.com search guys Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for mankind and defining moments everywhere, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.